A lot of students and teachers head back to school tomorrow after Thanksgiving break and administrators are asking that you make sure your kids aren't showing any signs of COVID-19. If they've got a fever, if they've got chills or a cough, schools are asking that you keep your kids home. Some districts will be heading back this week, but they won't be in the classroom. Tomorrow marks the deadline for all Marion County schools to be 100% online. Mayor Hogshead announced the decision earlier this month after the positivity rate in high schools reached 18%. We've also learned Southern Hancock County schools will be virtual starting tomorrow. The district announced this weekend they just don't have enough staff and New Pal High School has five COVID cases right now, so they wouldn't be able to open anyway in person. The district plans to return to in-person learning next Monday, a week from tomorrow. Despite multiple warnings and desperate pleas from health experts, millions of Americans decided to travel for Thanksgiving. And tonight, that choice has doctors bracing for another potentially deadly wave of infections. As millions of Americans return home after the Thanksgiving holiday, the busiest travel day of the year, Healthcare experts warn there will be consequences. Unfortunately, as we go for the next couple of weeks into December, that we might see a surge superimposed upon that surge that we're already in. If you travel, doctors are advising you stop activities for at least a week and get tested three to five days after getting home. Sources tell NBC News United Airlines has flown the first doses of a COVID-19 vaccine from Brussels to Chicago to be ready for distribution once it gets federal approval. This puts the end to the pandemic. The light is at the end of the tunnel.